Use the Geiger counter with the digital scale, in our case, to measure count rates in thousands of counts per minute as a function of distance from the strontium-90 source. Go ahead and skip the bullet points, go down to number two. Measure the background rate. Make sure the source is greater than two meters from the detector. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead and do that first. Um, welcome to lab, welcome to lab. No, I know you really wanna be here. So here's our setup. Let me get this, my tripod out of the way. <clears throat> so as we can see here, we have the Geiger counter set to 1,000 counts per minute. And here is our digital reading. And um, we're going to be taking um, sample rates of 10 seconds for this, for this thought for our purposes. So on the cart, we have the, the Geiger tube. Um, and you, you may remember uh, the lab talking about the Geiger tube having a window, a thin window on it. You can kind of see the window there. This is uh, what the radioactive particles go through. It goes through the window, and then it will ignite the gas that's inside the tube somewhere and uh, set off the, the sensor, and then that creates a tick over there, a ticking sound. I'm going to show you what that ticking sound looks like. Um, I mean, what it sounds like. <clears throat> um, over there is our uh, our radioactive source. You can see that little radioactive sign on it. I'm going to push the the Geiger tube closer to that. You're going to see what it sounds like. So we're going to use this ruler here um, to take our, our data. But the first thing that we got to do is we have to measure the background rate. We've got to take this off and get it out of here. And so what we're going to measure is we're just going to measure um, the radioactivity of the air. Well, I've already done all that work for you. Um, I've taken a few sample rates of uh, 100 seconds. Those are the, the counts there. I took the averages, and since we're doing things for 10 seconds, um, we have an average of 4.93 counts for every 10 seconds. All right, so now we're gonna record some data. Um, this is a revised version of the table that you have in your packet. On the left, we have our distances and centimeters. Um, and then in the middle, we are going to take uh, three measurements for each distance so that we can get an average. And the average, which is on the right, is the number that you guys are going to put into the table in your packet. So I'm going to put you on a handy dandy tripod. OK, so currently, the Geiger tube is um, six centimeters away from the radioactive source. So let's begin. Eighty two. Great, so our next measurement is at eight centimeters, so there we go.
35. All right, now we're moving to 12 centimeters. Sixteen. All right, now we're moving to eighteen centimeters. Fourteen. And eleven. So now we're moving to twenty four centimeters. Thirty-two centimeters. Four. Seven. Five. Okay, five. Last but not least, we're going to thirty six centimeters. Six. Seven. Nine. I missed one of the measurements for 12 centimeters, so I'm going to have to do that one again. 12 centimeters. Let's run that one more time.
31. Okay. There we have our data. And voila. So go ahead and record the averages in your table. Um, you might notice that the last two um, data, data points that we have don't really match up with our theory because it should keep decreasing. Um, but that's okay because this is real data and it's not going to be absolutely perfect. I'll see you in the next video.